Hi guys, welcome back to the PYQ series. Guys, today I have brought before you a very important question where I will demonstrate to you that, okay, still the optional elimination techniques are ruling in the UPSC. Guys, after the prelims 2022 examination, there is a false notion being created among the aspirants community by few coaching institutes on YouTube that optional elimination is dead. Okay, but guys, this is completely false. Even in last year, I have shown my students that at least 20 questions can be solved using optional elimination technique. And guys, I am telling you, UPSC wants you to use optional elimination technique. And guys, I am telling this from my own experience of cracking the prelims examination all six times. And this optional elimination technique has only helped me to score such high marks. I can challenge any aspirant in the country to solve the to solve the UPSC question, all, all 100 questions using knowledge. I can challenge you guys. I have scored one of the highest marks. I can challenge anyone. No one can solve all the questions of the UPSC prelims examination only using knowledge. Guys, because there is a limitation of knowledge. And guys, even, okay, UPSC or the people who are setting the paper, they also know this. And guys, I'm telling you, once you become an administrator, you will not have all the knowledge. You will not have all the knowledge to decide a case. Okay. That time you have to use your intelligence. You have to use your smartness. Okay. On, in your day to day life as an officer also, I'm telling you from my limited experience of my limited experience of administration, I'm telling you that. Okay. So what we need is we need smartness. We need intelligence along with knowledge. Okay. I'm not saying that knowledge is not important, but along with knowledge, if you really want to crack the prelims examination, okay, with ease, then you need to develop this smartness. You need to develop this skill. And I'm also saying that, okay, that this skill is not that, okay, it can be developed in one day. No, it cannot be developed in one day. Okay. It will take time to develop. And that is why you need to learn these tricks, tricks and then you need to apply these tricks. Let us read this question and I'm going to prove to you that still optional elimination techniques are ruling. Okay. Let us read this question with reference to United Nation, with reference to United Nation, Credentials Committee. Okay, Credentials Committee consider the following statements. First statement says that it is a committee set up by the UN Security Council and works under its supervision. Works under its supervision. Second statement says that it traditionally meets in March, June and September every year. Third statement says that it assesses the credentials of all UN members before submitting a report to the General Assembly for approval. Guys, okay, guys, Okay, easily you can say that, okay, if you have little bit, okay, if you have little bit, okay, focus while reading the question, okay, if you have little bit focus while reading the question, you can easily come to the conclusion that statement one and statement three cannot be true together. Statement one and statement three cannot be true together. Why? Because both are opposite. Okay, this is one optional elevation technique which I have, okay, developed, okay that in UPSC questions, okay, two statements which are opposite of each other, they cannot be true together. Why? Because suppose there is a committee which is set up by the UN Security Council and it works under the supervision of UN Security Council, then why will the committee set, okay, okay, give a report? Why will the committee submit a report to the General Assembly? The committee will submit the report to the Security Council. Common sense. Okay, I'm just thinking, okay. I just think inside the exam hall. Okay. I am solving this question from the point of view that I don't know the, okay. I don't have the knowledge. Okay. I don't have the knowledge about UN credentials committee. For the first time, I am reading about this committee inside the examination hall. And now I'm thinking how to use Santosh sir optional elevation techniques, the 10 optional elevation techniques and how can I solve? Okay. I'm thinking as an aspirant. Okay. I'm not thinking as a knowledge perspective. So I'm not bringing any knowledge. I'm just bringing common sense. Okay. So one and three cannot be together. True. I hope everyone agrees. If you agree with me, please say in the comment box. Yes, I agree. Please say in the comment box. Yes, I agree. Okay. Now there is another rule which I have developed, which I have observed in the UPSC prelims question that generally factual content. Okay. The statement consider factual statements. They are incorrect. They are incorrect. Okay, so this means what? This means what? Okay, this means what? This means that statement two is incorrect because it has a lot of factual 
content. It says that it traditionally meets in March, June, September every year. This means generally, I have, I can prove you before in many UPSC questions, whenever they will tell that, okay, it will meet this many times, or it will meet, it has these many members, or it, it travels this many kilometers, generally those statements are incorrect. Factual statements in UPSC prelims paper are generally incorrect, okay, generally incorrect. So guys, two things we have concluded, one and three cannot go together, one and three cannot go together, okay, and statement two is incorrect, statement two is incorrect. Let us try to answer the question using these two, okay, assumptions, okay, using these two assumptions. So guys, uh, common sense, okay, common sense among one and three, among one and three, okay, which statement is, appears to be more true, which appears to be more correct. Guys, high chances because the statement three talks about credentials, okay, talks about credentials, okay, which the question also talks about United Nation, okay, United Nation Credentials Committee. So it has to do something with credentials, okay, it has to do something with credentials or not. It has to do something with credentials. So clearly statement three has high chances of getting it correct. Okay, statement three has high chances of getting it correct. So answer is only three. Answer is only three. Guys, are you appreciating this logic or not? Guys, how many of you are appreciating this logic? Again, I'll again repeat, okay, I'll again repeat this, okay. Okay, in fastly, I'll, re I'll repeat in a very fast manner. So how I'll solve this question, I'll, I'll read this question. UN Nation, okay, United Nation Credentials Committee, the first statement says that it is under UN Security Council and the statement three says what? It is submitting report to General Assembly. Guys, these two statements cannot be true together. So either statement one and statement three is incorrect and only one statement is correct. But since it talks about credentials committee and only statement three talks about credentials, so therefore statement three is correct and statement why statement two is incorrect because statement two is incorrect because generally in UPSC factual stuff is generally incorrect. Factual stuff is generally incorrect. So what are the two rules we have learned today? Two rules are generally opposite statements cannot be true together. Opposite statements cannot be true together. Okay, statements, okay, can't be true, can't be true together. Okay, first rule. Second rule is what? Factual statements factual statements are generally incorrect, are generally incorrect, are generally incorrect. And this is not a rule which I am telling you now. You can go and you can watch my videos before the prelims examination, before the prelims examination. And if you have attended my option elimination webinar, okay, more than 500 students uh, attempted my, okay, attended my option elimination webinar and they are watching, they would recall that I had, okay, shared with them. One of the rule is that generally factual statements in UPSC uh, prelims, okay, is generally incorrect. So using these two rules, you can easily answer that the answer is what? The answer is, okay, three only. The answer is three only. So you can see without knowing anything, without knowing anything about United Nations Credentials Committee, I am able to solve this question confidently using Santos search top 10 option elimination tricks for the UPSC prelims examination. Guys, and that's what okay brings the magic guys in 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 life okay it, we have to work hard at the same time we have to work smart also once you start working hard and smart both at the same time no one can take away success from you okay guys so here i would like to just make a small announcement that we are okay having a 120 days plan revision plan in 120 days revision plan guys Okay, we are having every third day, okay, as per a revision plan, okay, we are basically we are conducting tests and these tests, okay, are helping aspirants to learn this optional elimination technique. In every test, at least 10 to 15 questions, I am framing where you can apply these optional elimination techniques, the only test series in the country, which will help you to master the optional elimination technique because guys, again, again and again, I'm repeating. With only knowledge, with only knowledge, if you try to crack the prelims examination, you will always struggle. Take it from me, you will always struggle. You have to, you have to use smart common sense, smart techniques, common sense techniques. Then only you will be able to crack the prelims examination easily, which, okay, like this. And if you are planning for forest services, then to definitely you have to master this optional elimination technique because without optional elimination technique, guys, I can tell you, you will never be able to okay clear the forestry cutoff. 
okay so guys and i'm telling you forestry services you should never miss forestry services it's a it's a premier service it's a very good service okay and you should aim for that also and for that you need to score very high in the prelims examination so guys i hope i hope you like this optional elimination technique guys please 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 like the video share the video guys i am making this video every day i am i am doing this analysis okay it takes a lot of effort to make these videos for you guys please share this video and when 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 i go through your comments when i go through your likes it really encourages us encourages me to make these more and more videos guys i am telling you for the next okay 98 days are still remaining i will come every day i'll come with one trick every day i'll come with one okay prediction for the next year so that okay you can you can prepare best for the prelims examination guys okay one more small predictions i'm giving you this year one small prediction because uh, a gift okay because i really okay i really want you to qualify so one one prediction i'm giving you this year question can come on un security council reforms un security council reforms un reforms okay un resolution un resolution un charter this year at least one question is expected from this topic so every day i will giving you one technique and i will be also use solving one uh, previous year question and i will giving you some predictions every year i'll giving every day i'll give you one prediction for 2023 prelims examination and we will come back after the prelims examination on 20th of may and we'll see how many predictions of santosh sir is right this year okay guys thank you bye bye take care god bless you guys